Okay, this is the EDX mobile phone app. Let's get connected to our derailers using this app. First, allow Bluetooth connection so that this will be linked to the device. Once the connection has been established, look at the top right hand corner of the app. The Bluetooth symbol should be lighted up. And once that happens, it will get all the information about your shifters. This is the main menu whereby uh, it's for transmission setting. What we normally use is the initial calibration for the first time setup, but uh, I've already done that, so let's move on to how I do the fine tuning here. Yep, that's for the rear and front. Okay, let's go to variable speed mode. Under variable speed mode, you can use this menu here to actually remotely shift the derailers to test and see if your fine tuning is correct or do you need further calibration of both the front and the rear derailers. So downshift, upshift, both derailers, you see that everything's in order. If it's not in order, you go to fine tuning gear. In fine tuning gear, I have set it up to 12 speeds here. And in this menu, you can see each of every gear has a number. What does the number mean is that the bigger the number, it moves the chain nearer to the next bigger gear. The smaller the number, it moves the chain nearer to the smaller gear next to it. So you may need to play around with it so that you can get the most accurate shifting based on the gear cassette you use. Because the ratios are different, the sizes are different, so the tension may be different. Right now, I'm just reducing the numbers so that the shift from 16 tooth to 15 tooth will be faster for a downshift. So let's go back to the menu. Let's put back the variable back to where it was. So right now, so right now, let's say if we want an upshift to be faster, we increase the value. So that means, let's say this is the 16 tooth. It's going to jump much faster to the 17 tooth based on the larger value on your derailleur. So this is just an example how you should do your fine tuning. With the red derailleur settings being sorted out, let's now move over to the front derailleur and let's see how we can fine tune it together. Under the fine tuning gear for front derailleur, you will notice that there are six files instead of two. We don't know why, but I do not recommend you to use the front derailleur's fine tuning gear module because once you do it, your front derailleur will stop shifting. Instead, get out of variable speed mode here and go back to the main menu. Under the main menu, we will use back the initial calibration for the front derailleur instead. Because using that, it will allow the front derailleur to shift normally even after fine tuning. Let's get inside the initial calibration now. Please pull to a stop before you do any fine tuning. Okay, in this menu once again, please choose to the front on the top. There will be some instructions telling you how to calibrate the front derailleur because of the way the cage is built. So all you need to do here is use the arrow buttons to fine tune the front derailleur, derailleur cage so that you get the best setting for the front derailleur cage against your chain and chain wings. All right, it is that simple. Once it's done, just go back to the main menu and you're done and you're all set to go.
the smallest one? Okay. Small chimney. You auto, see? I didn't see the auto. You auto, yeah. yeah. You auto. Do some trimming, yeah. so we will understand more. Looks okay, right? Yeah. Uh, the shifting now is a lot more smoother. Yeah. Upshifts is such a joy. Downshifts, you just need to calibrate it a little more precise. And furthermore, if the cassettes and chains are new, you just need time to let them wear in a bit, then you will be okay. 